Intrigued by today's most powerful military vehicles, many of the world's militaries have large budgets and make use of an incredible cutting-edge equipment and technology. It seems like they are constantly trying to develop stealthier, faster, slicker weapons. But some of the toughest, hardiest, most battle-tested, and most useful pieces of equipment for militaries small and large are, in fact, their humble land vehicles. Today, we'll be looking at the powerful workhorses that keep our forces going, from trucks to tanks and beyond. 1. JLTV – Joint Light Tactical Vehicle The US Force's Joint Light Tactical Vehicle is an impressive vehicle that was a long time in the making. The first studies on what would be needed began in 2006. The idea started because IEDs, which were previously rarely used in combat, became commonplace and were found to be unfortunately effective against the United States Army's existing vehicles, the High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle, or HMMWVs, that had been in service since the mid-1980s. By 2008, an official request for proposals went out, and after receiving models from many of the major top defense companies, three were selected for intense testing in 2012. The models created by AM General, Lockheed Martin, and Oshkosh. Oshkosh ultimately was awarded the contract in 2015, after almost three years of rigorous tests. It was later revealed that their model had outperformed the others by roughly 600% in some key areas. From a technical standpoint, we don't know a lot about the final models, as international and intercompany competition in this field is fairly tight. We do know that many different variants of the JLTV have been produced. They are intended to function as a partial replacement for the much maligned Humvees, but also have optional functionalities that allow them to act as ambulances, shelter, armament carriers, reconnaissance vehicles, and perform a wide variety of other tactical and logistical roles. We also know that the toughest models have a maximum payload of 5,100 pounds, that they are designed to be able to withstand temperatures from negative 40 Fahrenheit to 125 above, handle exceptionally low and high altitudes, and be able to ford 60 inches of salt water without assistance. The JLTV has a digitally controlled Gale Banks Engineering 866TV8 diesel engine, which offers about 340 horsepower, and some variants may be able to survive being airdropping from a fixed-wing aircraft. It will come with optional kits to offer varying levels of protection from and for increasingly heavy-duty weapons, so that the lightest, default version can travel quickly whereas the heaviest can support heavy artillery and close weapons combat. The first orders for the new Oshkosh JLTVs were made in 2016. An operational capability was announced by the US Marine Corps in 2019, ahead of schedule. So far, almost 12,000 units have been ordered by the US Combined Forces with up to 16,901 ultimately anticipated to be rolled out over the next 20 years. The US government also has contracts to provide JLTVs to Lithuania, Slovenia, and Montenegro, with a possible order from the United Kingdom on the table. 2. Mercedes-Benz Unimog Next up, we have the German Unimog, or Universal Motor Garrett. A range of medium-sized, multi-purpose, all-wheel drive trucks that have been in production in various forms since 1948, just after the end of World War II. The trucks were designed for agricultural workers in forests and on farms. They are produced by German automotive company Daimler AG and sold under their Mercedes-Benz brand. They were designed to be faster than standard farming vehicles and to be compatible with a wide variety of terrains, compromising only load capacity relative to more standard truck models. Because they've proven themselves capable of handling deserts, snowstorms, jungles, mountains, and just about everything else thrown at them, they've become popular in a wide variety of fields, including with the world's militaries, where armored versions are used as troop and armament carriers. Though the Unimog's inventor, Albert Friedrich, expressly promised the Allies it would have no military purpose, since there were, understandably, pretty strict rules on Germany's military development at that time, from the first model, it was used by armies. The first Unimogs were used by the Swiss Army, and today they're also in use by France, Germany, the US, Argentina, Chile, Bolivia, Peru, and many others, as well as a number of civilian emergency services departments. 
These trucks are impressively hearty and are often used for off-roading or featured in marathon rallies and other truck-related sports and competitions. Conventional, but tough and efficient, with diesel engines able to go 56 miles per hour driving either forward or, oddly enough, driving backward, and off-road payloads as high as 16,500 pounds, it's no surprise that these trucks keep on trucking, still in production and only moderately updated after over 70 years of service. 3. BVS-10 Viking Continuing onward, we have the BVS-10, or Viking, as it's called in the United Kingdom. Manufactured by Sweden's BAE system subsidiary Land Systems Haglunds and built in collaboration with the British Ministry of Defense for the British Marines, the BVS-10 is a fully amphibious, all-terrain armored vehicle that packs a punch. It has a Cummins 5.9-liter inline six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine with 275 horsepower, comes loaded with a heavy machine gun on rig mount, smoke grenade launchers, and mortars, and can carry as many as 13 people one driver, four passengers in the front, and an additional eight passengers in the rear car. Perfect for a post-apocalyptic extended family road trip. The Viking has seen action in Afghanistan and is currently in use by the Austrian, Dutch, French, Swedish, and British forces. Its ability to function in and underwater makes it a uniquely powerful military vehicle, but it does have one drawback. Since it's not heavy enough to trigger most anti-tank mines, it wasn't equipped with much in terms of armor under the body. However, because of this, the model has turned out to be vulnerable to IED attacks. For this reason, many of the UK's vehicles are set to be revamped to receive additional armor and protection, as well as additional weapons capabilities. Once that's done, the Viking will be virtually unstoppable. 4. Paramount Marauder Next up, we come to the Marauder. Made by the Paramount Group of South Africa, Marauders are armored, mine-protected vehicles designed for reconnaissance missions and peacekeeping forces. And, they are probably the only entry on this list that you can simply buy commercially online, in the military form, if you so desire. The Marauder is an impressive, burly vehicle with up to 300 horsepower, a 13,227 pound payload capacity, and the ability to withstand, and this is true, 17 pounds of TNT. It's perfect for any roadrunner on the go. It can withstand a mine level blast from any angle, and can be fitted with light and medium caliber machine guns, cannons, and missile launchers, as well as command, surveillance, and control systems. First introduced at the 2007 IDEX, or International Defense Exhibition and Conference, in Abu Dhabi, today this powerful military vehicle is in use by the forces of Zambia, Oman, Singapore, Malawi, Nigeria, Kazakhstan, Algeria, Azerbaijan, the Congo, and Jordan. 5. Aardvark JSFU Mark IV Likely the entry on this list with the most fun name, Scotland's Aardvark JSFU, or Joint Service Flail Unit, is more of a lover than a fighter, if what you love is seeking and detonating mines. The Aardvark is definitely built more for sturdiness than speed, but that doesn't preclude it from being an incredibly important and powerful vehicle. Used by the British and American forces to detect mines in Afghanistan and Iraq and by military and civilian groups around the world to find and neutralize hidden landmines, these Scottish-made flail systems play a huge role in keeping troops and civilians safe worldwide. They don't attack, but if you need to defend yourself from a blast, they'd be a darn good bet. 6. Ural 4320 for our sixth entry on this list of the world's most powerful military vehicles, we have the Russian Ural 4320, a heavy-duty, off-road 6x6 vehicle, which was first introduced in 1976 and continues to be manufactured and used today. Similar to the JLTV, the Ural 4320 is designed for use in extreme temperatures and conditions, able to function in temperatures as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit and as high as 122 degrees. It's primarily used as a cargo vehicle by the Russian military and can haul as much as 6 tons or about 12,000 pounds. There's even a fully armored model that was originally built for a Russian paramilitary group. The Ural 4320 is primarily beloved for being easy to repair and maintain, capable of traveling on sandy and rocky terrain, and fairly reliable, although it may not ultimately stand up to more current models in terms of reliability. Oh and it functions as a launching platform for rocket launchers, so that's pretty cool too. 7. M142 HIMARS 
On that note, we come to the M142 HIMARS, or High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, an American vehicle designed as what's called a shoot and scoot rocket launching system. The HIMARS, first developed for the United States in the late 90s, combines tech from a number of different pieces of equipment and manufacturers. It uses the Army standard M1140 truck frame, a chassis by BAE Systems, and a launching system built by Lockheed Martin. Together, they create one 5-ton truck capable of launching up to 6 rockets or one tactical missile. It's a faster, younger version of the M270, a similar multiple launch rocket system manufactured from 1983 to 2003 that ran on treads and could only travel up to 45 miles per hour. The trade-off is that the M270 carried more firepower, but the agility of the M142 was a desired trait for the new and improved system. Today, the HIMARS is primarily owned and operated by the U.S. Army, National Guard, and Marine Corps, but is also in use by the armies of the UAE, Singapore, and Jordan. When it comes to capacity for damage among today's most powerful military vehicles, the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System has to be near the top of the list. 8. Namir Jays the J's class of vehicles by Namir of the United Arab Emirates are 4x4 and 6x6 armored, mine-protected, multi-purpose vehicles. They're based off of BAE Systems RG35 ambush-protected vehicles, but Namir made some key changes to suit their needs. Like the RG35, the J's vehicles have advanced armor protection, blast-deflecting V-shaped hulls, roof-mounted mine-blast-protected seats, and run-flat tires but Namir has the budget to create and run more flexible vehicles. That's why the Namir version of the already impressive vehicles include modular options that can be tailored based on the mission, have additional protection to increase survivability rates, and have additional, improved weapons options. The only drawback of the J's over the RG35 is that the J's has a smaller engine, giving it only 450 horsepower to the RG35's 550. But given the improved survivability, that may be a deal worth taking. In 2017, Namir displayed a damaged Jays at IDEX with the caption, Namir Saves Lives. Today, the company has deals with seven different nations, plus the UAE, for vehicles, though who exactly has or will have the Jays is unclear. Whoever is using it, this vehicle is one tough cookie. 9. Leopard 2 Tank As we come toward the end of our list of most powerful military land vehicles, we would be remiss if we didn't talk tanks. The German Leopard 2 is the second to last entry on this list, and is definitely a powerful machine. There are tons of incredible main battle tanks, or MBTs, out there, but we're going to focus in on two. First, the Leopard 2. This tank was developed in the 70s for the West German Army by Krauss Maffei, and has since been repeatedly updated and specialized. There are many, many variants of the Leopard 2, with the most recent and popular models being the upgraded 2A4, the 2A6, and the 2A7 and 7 Plus. The Leopard 2 makes the list as one of the toughest battle tanks out there today because of all the work that's been done to continually update and refine them, as compared to other similar tanks that are by and large manufacturing the models they started with. The Leopard probably has the best-in-class balance between mobility and firepower, coming equipped with a Rimey Tall, L55 Smoothbore 120mm gun, two 7.62mm machine guns, and a 130mm cannon. Plus, it can reach speeds around 42 miles per hour, which is pretty darn good for a vehicle that weighs more than 62 tons. Their one weakness is that the Leopard 2 is a little less well protected than some comparable models, which matters a lot when you're inside it. But hopefully its power and speed would mean not needing to worry too much about that. Perhaps they'll fix the protection issue with the Leopard 3, a next generation battle tank rumored to be on its way by around 2030. We'll have to hang tight and see what that looks like as more information comes to light. In the meantime, there are at least 18 countries making use of the Leopard 2 in its various iterations so far. 10. M1A2 Abrams Last but certainly not least, we come to the M1A2 Abrams tank, a third-generation American MBT, main battle tank, designed by Chrysler Defense. Yes, initially of that Chrysler, a company which has since been sold and renamed General Dynamics Land Systems. Similar to the Leopard, the first M1 Abrams were built in the 1970s, and new models have been created and updated over time, with the M1A2 being today's most popular model and the M1A3 rumored to be on the near horizon. 
The present line of M1A2s is considered to be most likely the most modernized MBT of the current generation, having a great balance, like the Leopard, between speed and power, while also offering improved protection thanks to armor made from depleted uranium, among other things. It's as fast as the Leopard or faster, with a 45 mile per hour road speed thanks to its multi-fuel turbine engine, and it comes with one 120mm L44 M256A1 smoothbore gun, one heavy machine gun, two medium machine guns, and two smoke grenade launchers. Of course, it's missing the cannon that the Leopard is equipped with, but the M1A2's arsenal of weaponry is nothing to be sneezed at. Plus, they've been working on the M1A3 since 2009, and it's rumored the new model will have tech and connectivity to work in tandem with the US Army's other new developments in the field of high-tech weaponry, so the M1A2 may soon be a thing of the past, just a predecessor to whatever is coming next. And there you have it. Those are the 10 most incredible and powerful military vehicles in use today. What do you think? Which one of these tough contraptions would you want at the end of the world? Sound off in the comments, and if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. And make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on learning more about the tools of the trade of today's greatest armed forces.